Luke Dunn, personal best. The Group 2 Q22. Faulkner Park started a narrow favourite from Chris Lees' new arrival, Adelaide River. And they're all in, racing now. Adelaide River came out slowly. We had Vow and Declare, Bois d'Argent both beginning well and handy there was New Merino from the outside. And also going forward there is Spirit Ridge, but trapped out very, very wide. And Light Infantry Man a bit fired up there as well. So Light Infantry Man with the inside vow and declare. Four wide Spirit Ridge going forward. Handy is New Merriam, who's out three wide over on the outside of Bois d'Argent. Then we've got Hazel Shocker on the fence. And Naval College out three deep as well. A length further back to Faulkner Park and out three wide is Adelaide River. Uh, just in behind those horses is Converge and three wide over on the outside is Cleveland. Kovalik is on the inside. A length further back to Knight's Choice and then we've got La Donda V being passed there by Young Verda going forward out wider. Third last, El Bodegon. A length and a half to Wet Tour on the inside of Emma Kura has gone back to the tail. So Spirit Ridge in front but joined here by working as Adelaide River. A length and a half away third, Naval College and Light Infantry Man fourth on the inside of further back is New Merriam and then coming Vow and Declare a length and a half to Bois d'Argent Cleveland's being wide has your shockers on the inside of next along there is Faulkner Park and then Kovalika Converge and wider out there as they swing down the side is Young Verta a length and a half to Knight's Choice out three deep around La Donda V Wetor's on the fence Emakura is second last as they swing down the side and last of all as they really pack up now about nine or ten lengths off them. They've got about 600 metres left to run. And the inside here is Adelaide River joined by Bois d'Argent on the outside. Naval College, Spirit Ridge and looming up as New Marion three and four wide. Running home as well. Faulkner Park down the outside and Light Infantry Man has stayed near the fence out wide. Here comes Faulkner Park. Faulkner Park out wide has stormed up and grabbed the lead. Bois d'Argent can't go with him. Uh, they line up here. Kovalika, uh, Valen de Clare latest night choice but it's all Faulkner Park three lengths in front of Faulkner Park Faulkner Park has won brilliantly second night choice and third Bois d'Argent just ahead of Vow and Declare Kovalika and then we had Young Vert well he caught our eye in the Doombin Cup three weeks ago and he's followed up with a resounding win here in the Q22 the race that put without a fight on the map last year this five-year-old gelding's actually been under the tutelage of Annabelle Neesham since early 2023 even this campaign was a little unique given he'd had three starts before Sydney's rich autumn carnival. They chose to skip the championships and pulled off a major coup by winning a $1.2 million race in Queensland. Post-race, Nisham said of Faulkner Park that the Caulfield Cup would be the top priority in the spring, though the two miles of the Melbourne Cup was definitely a possible additional target. As for the others, Adelaide River didn't live up to his billing and it was another Annabelle Nisham runner, Bois d'Argent, that put in a creditable run to hang on for third. Check the odds and don't forget Kiprios will be collecting in the Ascot Gold Cup on Thursday night Australian time.